here in Latta, South Carolina at Abingdon Manor and standing next to me is Patty Griffey. Patty is the innkeeper and chef here and tell us a little bit about your fascinating home. Well, we've been here for 20 years. Um, we have turned it into a country inn and restaurant, but the facility itself is about um, 110 years old and we are standing in what was the original kitchen of this property, which is really wonderful that we can do that. And we're here to, to try some unusual foods. And the reason we have these unusual foods is because Isaac de Saab, who is originally from Tanzania, is with us today. And we're gonna talk about some of the traditional foods that your family is accustomed to trying. And fortunately, you brought a wonderful family member with you. Yeah, um, hey, everybody. My name is Isaac Kendai Saba. That's my mom. Her name is Ruth Abonimana. So we're here. Thank you to be here today. And Isaac and his fellow people from Eastern Africa have been growing some traditional foods, among them these African eggplant. And then also today we're going to talk about an amaranth species that is used worldwide as a green food source, and I think you kind of refer to it as spinach. Yes, ma'am. All right. Doesn't quite taste like spinach, though. <laughs> well, first of all, Patty, you've kind of gone and done some research and come up with some unusual ways of using these two products. So let's talk about the dishes that you prepared. Well, I knew that Isaac and his mom were going to be kind of doing the center of the plate kinds of things with it, so I thought, well, let me do a little bit different spin. So. Um, the first thing we have here is a salad, which is made with the amaranth, and um, I washed it twice, spun it dry, and actually it holds up in the refrigerator very well when you do that. Um, it, I had at first thought maybe it might go a little bit limp, but it didn't do that at all. So it's mixed with some arugula, which is a nice little peppery flavor, yes. so it, it kind of is a nice uh, complement to the, to the other green. And then it simply has some dried cranberries and some toasted almonds in it and I made a very light vinaigrette that is just equal parts of olive oil, white wine vinegar, and almond oil, which almond is oil. yes, very aromatic and very nice. But you could also do the same thing if you, if you had walnut oil and you wanted to use walnuts instead of the, um, the almonds, you could do that. So it's, it's kind of a versatile little recipe, but, um, and the, the craisins are just a nice color and a nice little tart bite into it as well. And then you took an unusual approach with the eggplant and I think this is something that would almost be a little bit of like a dessert. Well, you could do that or even as, actually as a little appetizer with a little glass of white wine or something like oh. that would probably be very nice. But um, what I've done here is uh, they have been growing two different kinds of eggplants. One of them is the traditional African eggplant which is the little round one which yes. is where the actual name of the, of the variety comes from. And then the other one, they were given some seeds to try some other different kinds of eggplants as well. And so you can see the longer one is there, which is a more traditional European type eggplant. So what I did with them was I just um, sliced them, peeled them and sliced them. You sprinkle some uh, salt on them and then press a cookie sheet or something on top of them for about an hour so that the extra water sort of weeps out of it. Then you rinse them, pat them dry, really dry and just put them in a little bit of flour, shake it off so you don't have a lot of excess, and then just fry it in some hot oil. Uh -huh. But the fun thing about this is that then when you're ready to eat it, you dip it in powdered sugar. Oh, doesn't that sound which fun. Which is just something kind of kind of different. So, right. um, but, and I, I thought it would be interesting to do the two types of eggplants just to see if you could discern a difference in the taste. And when I tried it earlier, I could tell a difference, so I think that's kind of interesting. Well, I'm but. looking forward to giving the, my palate's test as well. Very good. Now, Isaac, if you would explain to me the process that you and your mother and also your sister was involved in this wonderful operation as well, tell us how y'all began, please. Um, today, I, I just cook a, um, Spanish. I call it Spanish, but my language really is um, chicha. All right. That's what we call it. Um, the first time, what we do, you have to wash better. Yes. And then wash, wash, and then just cut the piece, small piece it. And after that, we be put on uh, the green and uh, to the so uh, oil, mm -hmm. and then fry, fry a little bit, be soft, want to be soft, mm -hmm. and just put a tomato. A tomato. Be, yeah, a tomato and onions, just put that there, and make sure everything be soft and be ready. That's it. And cover about five, five minutes 
and to put it on a bit of salt. That's it. And then you peeled the eggplant and you sliced them and fried them for a fairly long time on the stove. Ufashe urutori ukurahaka kashira mure trash. Hanyuma ugashira mising ukashira mwa mazi ukoz. Ya rangi zekoza ufata a knife ugakuraho ikigishishwa chini. Peter, the the take knife and peter. Hanyuma uchugira gutia aka ukura kwa kaki. Just like an apple. Yeah. All right, all right. And peter. And then you cook that yeah until it was soft and then I will leave it. Yeah. So you, you, you cut a four pieces or two, two pieces, pieces and then put it to in the oil, in the oil. The and then just it's it's kind of you have to take time because you already peel it. When you peel it, it be soft. Ah, so if you turn it to move in the oil quick, it's gonna be like. Uh, mush. You're gonna be like mush. <laughs> Thank you. It's gonna be mush. Yeah, so we don't want to be mush before you put the meat on. Right. So that's why you take time to uh, to slowly. slowly to move in the, in the oil. And what Can did you, you what did you add to add see flavor to it? Did you add some tomato sauce or some yeah. salt and pepper? Nashizemo evitunguru. Fata igitunguru na pipiri ho ho ba yita gote. She take uh, green pepper, green pepper, yeah. and uh, onions yeah. and tomato and uh, uh, tomato sauce. Yes, tomato paste. Yeah, yeah. Tomato paste, yeah. yeah. Put in it. All right. Then, yeah. But before she she take the meat. If she finish, she uh, fry the eggplant. She put it separate. She put it. Uh, beside, yes, yeah. and then she fry the meat, cool. and then when it be tomato and onions be ready in the meat, yes, that's she take the eggplant, put it in, I and see. then make it be like ten minutes, oh, fifteen minutes. Oh, it all simmers it together. It does. It, does. Yeah. It, does. It's, it reminds me very much of, a, of the, the process to make a stew. I mean, that was I was watching her, and it was pretty much like that. But she'd already pre-cooked the meat. Yes. And yeah. then she cubed it up and and then fried it again, so it has some nice texture on the outside. Everyone is very interested in how this is going to taste. So if we can push this over to the center of the table, you have given us a fork, and I'm going to take a little quick piece and try it. Y'all feel free to, to get in. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. This is wonderful.